G'day guys, I'm Nate from Lovells Adelaide. Today we're going to be walking through the Ranger Wild Track Next Gen. So this one here, it's hot off the press. Everyone's after one of these at the moment. So this one here is actually the two-litre bi-turbo motor. It's a fantastic motor. So we're going to go through exactly what's involved, walk around the car, the off-road capabilities in this vehicle, and um, what comes factory with them. First thing I really notice here, airbox sits straight to this side. So snorkel is going to be down this driver's side guard. But you can see inside there, there is a very large uh, window washer reservoir. So that's going to um, cut into where the snorkel runs and they're more likely going to have to move um, your window washer um, bottle. So you're going to go from quite a large bottle um, to most manufacturers will put in a small window washer bottle to allow a snorkel to come through if that's what you're after, the higher air intake. I have noticed and seen dual batteries sit here. Um, so once again, you're going to have to modify this, the water, the filler neck um, to get your dual battery in. So that's to nice large areas, you can get a quite large battery um, situated inside there for your um, auxiliary battery, which is it's good, it's what everyone needs and what you want. Your BCDC charger sits up the top, so they make the brackets and it sits neatly right here. Um, you cut the trim out and it sits just there. So getting a lot of airflow coming through the grill to keep it nice and cool, um, which is what they need, because they produce quite a lot of heat coming through. So that sits right, situates right there, neatly with your start battery across, and then you run your cabling around your auxiliary battery. The next big thing that really stands out Look how much room for activities you've got through situated down here. Once with the, the two litre bi-turbo motor, it's slightly smaller. The V6, um, the three litre V6, um, it takes a bit more room. It's a bigger block in there. When we get hold of that one, you'll see there's not as much room for activities and there's not much free space actually in the engine bay with the V6. The size of that window washer bottle um, is quite massive on these vehicles, but you will notice just below the camera for the front, there's a little window washer squirter there, um, or a camera squirter there. So the car will actually register the camera's dirty and it will activate it itself clean the camera and keep it clean. So if you're off-road, you go through a, a muddy creek and it gets quite dirty, the car itself will sense that, clean the camera, and that way the full camera surrounds, it's always clean, clear vision. So the car does use quite a bit of water um, and it's always going to be doing that. So that's why they have such a large uh, water capacity. But just with the grill itself, you can see here, you've got masses of airflow coming through. So there's nothing restricting the view through the condenser and the radiator um, and the intercooler down the bottom. Um, so you have no issues keeping this thing cool whatsoever. It's got a lot of airflow coming through, so it looks fantastic. So on the, the side mirrors, uh, you've actually got a 360 degree camera. So it's situated just on the outside of this mirror here. Um, it's really, really clear vision, 360 degrees, the whole way around the car. Um, so on side in their big um, info screen, it is fantastic, really clean, clear vision that you're getting from it. And they've also got some puddle lights in underneath. So when you open the door and turn your puddle lights on, they are really bright. You can very clearly see what you're getting out of the car and stepping onto. Here we are under the, the new Ranger, the next gen Ranger. So you will notice here, lower control arm and the upper control arm are both a tubular steel design now, as well as the, the actual hub itself has gone to alloy. Weight saving and it's just as strong. Every manufacturer trying to save weight somewhere. You will notice a few changes. Um, the strut design themselves um, have changed. So the old Rangers used to have a nice big bolt um, through the front. Um, now these ones you haven't, they've gone to like a, it's almost like a U-bolt and bolted up through underneath. Um, but, but it is a very European design, so um, as they're collabed with Volkswagen now and the Amarok with these vehicles. The actual diff housing, the front diff, alloy casing, so once again, saving weight. Electric power steering in the front, so. Bit hasn't, it's electric power steer motor, sits right there. They have got a bash plate on them, um, but it's not, I wouldn't call it quite sufficient, um, not for off-road, so. Anyone off-roading, um, they'll get that upgraded to a, a thicker steel um, bash plate just to protect the vitals under the car. The same coming out of the back, the tr a bit further down, the trans um, sits nice and high. It's got plastic trans pan, so I don't know. Um, you might cop a few things coming through, especially on full lock with the wheels. Um, it's right in line. There's nothing to protect it coming through here. Um, I don't know. I'm intrigued to see how it goes off-road and longevity of it, how long it lasts. Um, but then again, fuel filter, um, it's the same. So sitting there, they have got bash plates around it, little metal ones, and they've got the big strong brace uh, for the cross member. Uh, for the K-frame through there. Time will tell as to whether that's sufficient um, or if not, there'll be aftermarket fuel filter protectors, uh, some stronger guards in there. Overall, it, lo it looks quite neat. It's, it's a nice system. Um, there's certainly a lot of room under here um, compared to the older ones. Um, and the wheelbase itself, I haven't measured it. Um, it does look longer than the older ones. Um, and the wheel track um, is slightly wider, so it gives it a wider stance on the road, um, which is gonna give you better handling overall. So that's a nice thing. Um, the rear tail shaft, substantially longer. Um, and it's pretty well the same same design um, with the center bearing. Um, they have got some nice supports um, up through here just in case any failures and kick ups, it's not gonna go through the floor pan, um, which is fantastic to see. Um, 
and they've added in an additional um, support across on the chassis. So there's additional support going across there, which is a really beefy bracket um, that, are not, that is not bending anytime soon, that's for sure. So the GVM um, of these wild tracks, um, the bi-turbo is, we've got 3230 um, on it. Um, and then the, on the, the V6, it's a, you get an additional 50 kilos. So it's 50 kilos uh, more for the, the GVM. And then the GCM, um, we've got uh, 6350 um, for the two litre. And then with it's also additional 50 kilos um, with the V6. So it's something to keep in mind um, when you're choosing. Um, down on the rear suspension, um, Ford have finally changed the U-bolts, um, put them underneath with every other manufacturer. So it's a lot easier to do up, tighten, check. Uh, if you're doing a lot of off-road, um, it's always good just to check your U-bolts and tighten them. They have been known to work themselves loose um, on vehicles. Um, so that's great to see because it was always a nightmare trying to get up inside um, and doing them up above the axle. Um, there was no room, so it's fantastic to see they're finally gone um, on the bottom. So on the back, um, disc brakes on the back of them and they're gone to electric um, handbrake. So you can see bolted to the caliper, um, electric motor up in there, um, just for electric handbrakes, um, which is great for all your heel stops and starts and turn your car off and your handbrake auto applies, everything else take off and it turns itself off. Factory fitted tow bars, uh, so we've got three and a half ton tow um, with a factory fitted tow bar. So these do also have um, a brake controller built into them onto the dash. So like all the big American trucks, you might have seen uh, a few others talking about them. They've come out factory with um, brake controllers on them. Um, and these new next gen ranges um, also have that. The side step um, on the back of it, the load step, um, really well reinforced and braced in there. So it's really easy, you can shove your foot in, jump up, and then you can reach inside the tub and load it up, unload it. Um, it's really neat. Um, it's really good to see that, how heavily reinforced that is. That's got, that can cop a beating and you can jump on that and it ain't gonna bend at all. The rear shock absorbers, um, so on the older ranges, they used to sit inboard of the chassis. Um, and then on the, these new next gens, they've actually brought them outboard of the chassis um, and put them right on the outsides of the diff housing. So it's just to increase your, the stability and handling on the road. Um, having it sitting right out nice and nice and close to where the load is. Here we are inside the new next gen um, Ranger, uh, the wild track um, version. So just looking around, um, there's not too many um, blanking spots for um, driving lights or any other accessories. So for UHFs and stuff, um, the old ones, the RJ45 plugs to pull them through, there's actually no blanking spots. So there's no empty blank spots where we can use to run all that. So. Um, not quite sure, we're going to get some um, switch fascias um, made for different locations to actually put in some empty blank spots for driving lights and UHFs and everything else. So nice big 12.4 um, inch iPad screen um, in the center console um, or center dash. Um, everything you need for all your controls, it's all easily accessible. Um, so yeah, you can turn on. So if you want, depending on what you're doing, so that adjusts your camera right for your tow ball. So if you're hooking up a trailer, perfect, really good vision for that. Um, you go through and you can get your full. So there's your 360 degree um, camera. I've just got one of the doors open at the moment um, so you can see the car through here. Um, but that's really clean, clear vision um, the whole way around your car. Um, so if you're just driving or doing some off-road, you can click, turn this on and you can clearly see uh, what rocks and what's around you to really help you off-road. So I really like that feature. Um, you can go through and do your front um, and the front halves um, and everything else. So that's what I mean. There's fantastic visibility um, around the vehicle. The eight inch, um, screen up over here for the um, cluster in the dash. So once again, it's really clean, clear, um, crisp vision. Um, so it's really well done. Everything's digital, um, saving so all your fuel gauge um, temperatures. So it's fantastic. I really like to see the temperature gauges on vehicles. Um, although I know a lot of modern uh, smaller cars, they've taken them out and you just don't know until you get a warning gauge to say the car's actually overheating. So I personally love to see a, a temperature gauge in the vehicle. That way you, you just know. Drivability, comfort, um, just feels really nice sitting here, um, actually in the car. Um, joystick sort of feel for the, the gear selector. I really like the feel of it. Grab hold of it, it's comfortable. A few of us have been playing at work and tried different methods. Um, I find that comfortable. Um, some of the others were grabbing it this way before with a hand over the top and thought it felt a bit weird, but I really like it. It looks neat, um, goes really well with the car. Even just the, the air con vents, the way they've designed them, it matches in perfectly with the front grille. Um, I think it looks quite neat and quite fancy, to be honest. We've also got a little upper glove box. Um, so just a push button, um, pops open. So 
it's not that big, but it gives you the extra storage space um, rather than having just a dash there. Um, so extra storage space is always fantastic, as well as a um, little storage compartment through here. Right over here, um, hidden cup holder. So it comes out and you can just open it for your cans, drinks, whatever else. Uh, that's what also on the driver's side. So it's quite neat, really nice. Um, the glove box itself, you can store enough in there. Um, works quite well, it's big enough, um, really neat. Wireless charger in there, and it's also got the Apple um, CarPlay as well as Android CarPlay, which is all wireless. So rather than having to have it um, hooked up via cable, um, it's all wireless, so it works wirelessly, which is fantastic. The controller here for the, the trailer brakes um, sits here. I don't quite know how it all works yet. Um, I just turn it on, it tells me the trailer's disconnected. Um, but plus or minus, so turn the gain up, um, up and down, um, depending on it. Um, probably won't be able to show you the fun functions of that unless you have a trailer hooked up. I do believe this is going to be like a trailer disconnect, turn on or off, and then turn up or down as you need. So it sort of goes away from having to fit electric brakes to the vehicle because they come factory in it. They've also got, I can just notice down the bottom here, USB charger. And there's also the C, USB-C, um, which all modern um, phones are running USB-C, um, as well as the standard USB-A charges in this, so that's neat. On the whole door panel, the actual door handle itself has disappeared out of view. Um, so they've actually put it inside, so little grab handle in there to open your doors. It's really neat, easy to use, and just keeps the door looking clean. So Nate's given us a rundown on the interior and underneath of the car, including the important GVM, GCM numbers. We're now gonna have a look at the outside. One of the things you notice immediately about the Ranger is just the way they've stepped up the presentation and appearance uh, over the older models. You know, there's a lot of brand new features, good color coding across the mirror, the bumper, the sports bar, looks great. New wheels as well, 18 inches on the wild track here. The vent on the side is all new. Uh, and it's just packed with clever features. Um, this new tailgate is awesome. Look at this, it's got little, little places you can actually mount things to. I'm told you can put a C-clamp on and hold a piece of wood down to cut it. Some models have even a tape measure across here. That's just brilliant. Inside, you've got the cargo tie-down points here, adjustable on the rails at the top. I'm pretty sure that's a first for anything we've seen locally. Tie-down rails, moulding on the inside as well, where you can, you know, put your own features, if you like, your own little racks and that kind of thing. It's really modular. Places you can stand up boards as well for dividing. Uh, power outlet button. It's got the uh, roll cab on here. You see that coming back. It's just brilliant. I absolutely love it. Really light tailgate, they've good assistance on that. It's great, look at that. This wild track is brilliant, I absolutely love it. Come right around, picking up features that you see overseas. Yeah, the Americans are king of designing utes and you know, just building in extra things like a step. Yay, great, you know, first time we've seen it, an Australian kind of designed ute. Towing of course remains at three and a half tonne, which is great. A new thing Ford has done as well, I think pretty much the first time probably in the Australian market, integrated tow controller. So, you know, if you are setting up a car for towing, you don't then have to go and get an aftermarket brake controller. Uh, other clever features, uh, they've moved the, the reverse brake light off the, uh, the roll bar at the top or in the back window, brought it right out to the back here. It's also got a nice little integrated uh, lip spoiler as well. Picking up a trend we're seeing across uh, other utes as well, the embossed uh, name logo as well, and a bit of sculpting on the tailgate too to give it a bit of shape. It's not just a slabby piece of metal as we've typically seen on cars. New, new tail lights, of course, match the lights at the front. It's all fully LED. And of course, the whole styling theme is becoming more of a corporate theme. So it blends in or matches in with its uh, bigger brother in the F-150, F-250 range. So a lot squarer on the front end, big sort of C-shaped lights, I guess you'd call that. Fully LED, LED fog as well. Um, so it's the honeycomb kind of grill and lots of color coding in there also. Yeah, looks great. Mirrors, big puddle lights on the side and cameras as well for the, the all around view for off-road. Bonnet, it's got some nice shape to it as well. Bit of flaring on the guards. Yeah, great job by Ford, I really like it. Huge shout out to Stillwell Ford here in, uh, in Unley in Adelaide for lending us this car today. Um, it's great to be able to get uh, early access to a car so we can do these kind of videos. If, to find out more about the Ranger and the rest of the cars in their range as well, go to Ford Know How on their YouTube channel and um, you'll see there more information and more walkthroughs and see what else is available in the range. So yeah, great car.
and thanks again still well forward so we do a lot of toyota models at levels um, you'll see a lot of our previous stuff has featured uh, 200 series 79s that kind of thing but our third biggest selling model of all is actually ranger upgrades the gvm gcm upgrade package for the ranger uh, and this model first time we've got a huge stack of early orders for the car even though we can't say exactly what the uh, final outcomes of our R&D work will be yet uh, but there are so many people interested so many people signed up for cars um, and we're taking deposits on the initial batch of product when it comes through so yeah very exciting um, it'll be a huge seller hugely successful uh, and we can't wait to see how it goes in the market but don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you have further questions and to keep up with developments as they come to hand on the Ranger uh, when we know for sure when the release date of our new kit is you'll see it there first on our Facebook page so subscribe and you'll keep up to date with what we're doing.